appreciate right, first we got david out in north miami beach all right hey david welcome greetings time changer yes <laughs> greetings time changer yes greetings um i remember uh the forum that stephanie miller was part of about liberal radio and how it was you know, then a whopping, what, 10% of the market. Mm -hmm. we, this is why we need Biden as president and a filibuster-proof Senate and a Congress to try to unwind the damage because, you know, I shouldn't need a uh, lottery ticket to you know, open a radio station or have to sign up as a foreign agent to join the Russians. Right. Uh, which too many smart people have had to do. I mean, north of me is Fort Lauderdale. That's a very democratic area. So why mm -hmm. there should be two liberal stations? Right. Uh, they had one for a while until phony Rush Limbaugh declared he had conquered the liberal media. Right. For them to switch the sport. Thank you, Team Mitt Romney. Well, yeah, Bain so, Capital went. Really Bain Capital went through and post. Goal. Yeah, post post twenty twelve. Um, the the reasoning behind the you know Mitt Romney's loss. Um, what they believed was the fact that the American electorate was insufficiently informed of uh, what the Republicans want. And so, in, but one would think if you believe that, you would go and pay for more, as an investment group, right-wing radio stations. Um, but instead, what they did was buy up and scuttle liberal ones. So that's why uh, Stephanie Miller's show, for example, is not on in Los Angeles or San Francisco anymore, and the Patriot is. It loses money all the time, which is against the law. If you willingly and knowingly um, lose money on something that you know your investors are investing in, in theory, that's against the law. But they view it as a PR scam. You're losing money over here, but you gain money in tax cuts that you think you're going to get. So the, they went after and, and destroyed... I've all the, the liberal stations, as opposed to promoting their own. And, and as far as Rush Limbaugh, his, his entire salary is paid for by conservative groups, the Heritage Foundation being the primary one. They just pay him to, and, and the licensing fees to keep him on the air because the, no amount of freedom bears are going to pay for that level of stuff. Like the ads he runs are embarrassing. Um, exactly. I have a postscript. It shouldn't take a Norman Goldman burning through a million dollars yes. of his own retirement money and, and still losing. And unfortunately, uh, this conversation with Stephanie Miller, sadly, he was wrong. He was talking about broadcast. Yes, sometimes you do have to narrow cast to mm -hmm. liberals, moderates, because unfortunately, that's what Trump did. He narrow yep. cast to not just conservatives, but reactionaries who want to go back to 1920, which is why I called you time changer. Yes, right. One of the things, you know, after this is, you know, that I think the sh there is a responsibility that has to happen. And I've been trying to, you know, I've talked Steph into, um, you know, joining Patreon to help boost her numbers during this time and, you know, using everything at your available, you know, the, every tool available to you. Because I think everybody was playing nice on our side of the aisle for a very long time and allowing the kind of financial support that's necessary for the reach that you need to get to be taken away. And it and uh, to me, all bets are off in that zone of things because the message is a lot more palatable and functional for the average American and certainly uh, middle class people. So being able to hear it and be able you know, to help at least balance the argument on the radio is, is crucial. And, and going forward, I think one of the things that like, Liberal talkers especially need to do is re-seize those airwaves as, you know, and understand that a lot of these misinformed, curious human beings floating around on boats are arguing against their own interests in, in such a violent way that it's sad to watch. Um, and most of them, because it's, a, it's a, a, a fear they have, apparently, of the other, that's been played up so heavily to almost a psychotic level.